What's up, everybody, and welcome back to Beale Beach City. As you can see, it's now nighttime. It's actually quite dark here. Uh, it's 10 o'clock at night, so... Obviously, it should be nighttime in the game, and it's nice. So let's go check out the casino. Now that we're finally kind of more or less finished, we can kind of check out what else Beale Beach has to offer. Maybe fish in their waters a little bit. See what the casino has. Eventually make it back down to that nuclear reactor. Hello. Make sure we're lots of suntan lotion. Sunburn can really harsh your mellow. Of course, of course. Quality of service here is most excellent. They have special grooming center for Pokemon. I have a permanent penthouse suite on the top floor. It has a view of the entire city. That is quite red. This is the Pokemon Lottery Corner. I'm Felicity, your attendant today. If the drawn number matches the ID number of any one of your Pokemon, you could win fabulous gifts. All the more reason to trade Pokemon, even if you already have a better version of that Pokemon. Would you like to check today's lucky number? Yes! Look up today's Pokemon Lottery Corner lucky number. 10718. I don't think that matches ours. Let's see if it matches the ID number of any of your Pokemon. Congrats! Wait, really? Oh, look at that! The ID number of your PC box, Kyvy, matches your lotto ticket number. I can't believe that. Wow. The last digit match. So you win the fourth prize. Oh, okay. Hey, I'll take a free Ultra Ball. It's like a thousand bucks right there. Please do visit again. Goodbye from Felicity, your attendant. If I check back in two hours, I wonder if she'll do it again. That'd be interesting. Welcome to the world famous Beachside Resort and Casino. Uh, give me some info. Beachside is a five star locale known around the world for the highest quality entertainment, lodging, and dining, located in picturesque Beale Beach City. All patrons are welcome to enter our daily lottery drawing at the counter to win prizes. You are also invited to enjoy the wide range of entertainment in our casino for the chance to win rare and valuable items and even rare Pokemon. Okay. Directions? To your immediate right is the casino, where you are free to enjoy a variety of exciting games of chance for the opportunity to win prizes. To your left is our five-star restaurant and bar, which also contains our Pokemon Care Center, where our specialists will make your Pokemon feel pampered and refreshed. The elevator leads to the hotel. We offer a variety of room types, single, double, suite, deluxe suite, and penthouse. Apparently, a penthouse is permanently bought up. Hotel booking. I'm sorry, but you need to be 18 years of age or older. Ah, 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 ah. I can't book a hotel, but I can go to the casino floor. Oh, man. Because that makes sense. Wow. Hello. I already have coconut milk, but thanks. Hi. Love coming to the bar to unwind after a long day of sunning myself on the beach. Sounds so hard. We're on a romantic date together. Oh, good. This would be more romantic if he wasn't oogling that other lady over there. Yeah, I imagine it would be. Hello, Pokemon Ranger. Yo, I heard the gym leaders are real hot. I'm going to go train Pokemon so that I'm good enough to battle her. Then I'll ask her on a date. Good luck with that. Hello there, trainer. For a small fee, I can make your Pokemon the happiest it can be. I have a very busy schedule, however, so I can only do it once a day. Sunsparse, I guess? I don't know. That's okay. I don't need your services. I'll do it the old-fashioned way. Right, let's go to casino, then. Hello. Hey, Sarah is not for kids. Oh, I see you're a Pokemon trainer. Pokemon battles are basically a kind of gambling anyway, so there's no reason I shouldn't allow you to enter. <laughs> oh, not to mention you may want to win the many rare Pokemon we offer as prizes. Here, take this free of charge. Wow. Enjoy your stay at the Beachside Casino. Sir, this company has issues. You just want me to gamble here because you know Pokemon trainers have the opportunity to make buku bucks, don't you? The off chance that I'm a wealthy one, which I am. 60 grand at this point. Ooh, I want a big today. I'm going to buy a cute Pokemon. 
That's a wall. Oh, that's very bright. Hello. No funny business to hear. You're on camera. Yeah, and you're on my camera. So, no funny business, sir. No funny business. Spin, spin, spin. Spin, spin, spin. Win, win, win. Hey, hey, hey. They call me Lucky Jack. Every night I drive tourists around in a limousine. Every day I take my winnings to this here casino and gamble all day long. I always end up with more than I started out with, too. I like your style, kid. Here's a little gift from me to you. Thanks for the hundred coins. Maybe some of my good luck will rub off on you, eh? Yeah, you hope. I doubt it. Voltorb Flip is low stakes, low payout. I actually find it to be very relaxing to play. See if you can get a good streak going. Skill-based games are often low payout. There's no clocks or windows in here. How long have I been at this? Well, might as well go another round. That's kind of the point. Like, they don't want you to know that it's the middle of the night. Exchange coins for prizes. Huh. You could buy a Braille Lip, a Barand, or a Tracton. 999 coins. Smoke Ball, Miracle Seed, Charcoal, Mystic Water, Yellow Flute, all... Basically, Miracle Seed down. Definitely want those, but that's... 4,600 coins. I mean, that's a little tough. Welcome to Rocket Game Corner. Really? Rocket Game Corner? Are you, seriously? Whatever. Do you need some game coins? Would you like to buy some? 10 grand for 500 coins. Jeez. I could buy 3,000, which gets me a third of the way to a Tracton. That... That's not good. That's not good at all. What do you got? You can change your coins for fabulous prices next door. Okay. Let's just... I mean, there's, there's not... I mean, we have 100 coins, but there's not a lot we can do here. What about fishing? Were you here before? Oh, yeah, you were. Nope, I'm good. I already have some coconut milk, thank you. I'll save it for a rainy day. Oh, we got a bite. But it got away, apparently. Not even a nibble. I believe! Oh! Oh, come on, I pressed the button. Fishing is so unnecessarily difficult in this game. Oh, come on! Really? Through that. What if we fish up north? I can tell it's clearly being a little framey in the south, so what if we go up to the north? Will that be better luck? Maybe? As long as it's less framey, right? There we go! Immediately! First time! First time! Of course it's a magic card, but why would it be anything I... I'll give it a couple fishing, see if we find anything. If not, you know, no biggie. Wow, water pulse didn't do it. Alright, alright. Well, let's just use another one, because we did it the first time anyways. Give it a couple fishings, maybe we'll get something interesting out of the, the water. It's been a while, I mean, we've gone quite a ways. You'd think we'd be getting something other than a Magikarp. Not even a nibble. Of course not. Come on, fishing. Oh, you didn't even wait that long. Oh! Pokemon's on the hook. Another Magikarp. We really need a better rod. Roll out. And just auto battle for me, please. Okay, that's done. Fish. Nope. Oh, come on, man. I pushed the button. Don't let him get away when you push the button. Sure. There we go, we got another one. Probably another Magikarp. 
That is not a Magikarp. That's a tub job. That's what we want. Nice. Uh, yawn. Immediately shut it down. I don't know what to use. Like, I don't want to kill it. Rollout would kill it. Takedown would definitely kill it. Water Pulse? Okay. Water Pulse is reasonable. We can do, like, one more of those. It'll be asleep. We could use a Great Ball and maybe get a Tub Jaw. Nice. Okay. Here we go. It's this way. Use a Netball. It's a Water Pokemon. Go Netball. Boom. Nice. Got a Netball on a Tub Jaw. Finally got one of those things. Jaws Pokemon. Tub Jaw are able to unhinge their jaws in order to swallow prey larger than their head. Their teeth are sharper than razors. Nope. No nicknames. I'm going to want to train up a tub jaw. Like, from what we've seen from tub jaw, it's like stupidly powerful. Ah, uh, fine. So because of the strength of tub jaw, we're, I'm going to want to pick one of those up. I don't know who we'd replace. Obviously, we... Barrel's already in there, so we can't replace Barrel anymore. No, I haven't forgotten about him. You know... I mean, I've kind of got more or less the team I want, other than the egg. I already have a water Pokemon. Fullerog. Yeah, he's already a water. So I guess I don't need a Tubjaw. Tubjaw is pretty strong, though. Well, let's see. Depends on what kind of comes out of this egg. What comes out of the egg might either be interesting or complete crap, and then we'll switch over to, I don't know, Falang or Kokoron, or if I can do it, Gliscor would be awesome. S51, solid choice. You know, I, I want to try Kokoran, want to level him up, see what he's like. But... Uh, and maybe level up the bugs and see what they're like. You never know, but I don't know. We have an, an, that empty slot right now. I don't want to overlap the uh, the elements too much. We're already kind of pushing it. You know, if I take S51, then we have two steel types. The fuck? What just happened? OBG, you're still here! There's been some sort of disaster at the new power plant. The entire city could be in danger. Listen, I want you to get somewhere safe, okay? Here, take this. It's a ferry ticket. Go west, take the ferry. I think there's a gem somewhere out there, too. What in the world just happened? Listen, I gotta go, okay? I have to rescue the survivors. Be safe. Dad, no! Dad! That's how mom died! No! <laughs> Not you too! Oh, we can't go to the nuclear power plant! Oh, we missed our opportunity! That sucks! I wanna go! I wanna help! Let me help! Ah, gotta go west. Fallout's gonna be coming, I'm sure. Yes, Fallout 4 will be coming. Eh, 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 eh. Alright, let's get out of here. Is there, like, no Pokemon here now? No, there are. Okay. <laughs> I was like, that'd be really cool if you implemented it in the game. Like, there's now no longer any Pokemon here because of Boom. A big Boom. That'd be nice. No, no. Got lucky. Or maybe we're getting unlucky earlier, I don't know. Rosard became confused. Rosard is quick. But it hurt itself in confusion. And that's it. Great. 
run across the bridge. Kokoron. V Dunsparce. Yo, you're a bug type, right? I don't remember. I know we have you in our Pokedex. I just don't remember what type you are. Clearly, rock is not the right move here, so I mean, we'll try water, I guess. So much for Beale Beach City in the beautiful five-star resort and casino. Man. That's sad. I feel like I'm gonna have to go back through this game just so I can go to that nuclear plant. I don't know what I'm missing. Well, there's, there's gotta be something there. Absolutely. Did I evacuate the beach house? The rest beach house? To go in there, you know, run screaming in, the nuclear plant blew up, and then just run out? See what she does? That endure. My speed's already lower than yours. I don't have to lower it anymore, buddy. Don't worry about it. You're already faster. And you're already weaker. What's up? Oh, hey, there's an item up here. Hyper Potion! I'm glad we picked that up. There's an item right there. If you can... If you can surf, you can get there. Yeah, wait. Okay, no, no item there. Alright, gotta go back around. Hello, Cockeron. How about a water pulse? That was a decent amount of damage. Yeah, my dad's probably gonna die, and my mom's already dead, so... Great! You know, for a Pokemon game, this is kind of a downer. Like, most games aren't quite this sad. Or if they are, it's like... It's not sad about your character. It's sad about somebody else's character. It's sad about Pokemon. No, this is like, you're an orphan now. <laughs> like, you, you have to deal with the fact that you are now an orphan. And you are 13, a Pokemon trainer, out in the world on your own as an orphan. Hopefully it doesn't change anything too much. I mean, thanks, Dad, for the free ferry ticket, but... Not really... ideal. And... I'm just glad we didn't go to the, the nuclear plant when we were still, like, super weak, because that would have been very bad. That would have been just... We couldn't have handled it. Absolutely no way we could have handled that. You know, by the time we got to Beale Beach City, we were so exhausted, so worn out, that I was like, I wanted to turn back. I didn't turn back, because I knew we had to be close, but... Man. It was... It was tough getting to Beale Beach City. It's easy getting back now, because we're way higher level, but... I guess we won't be buying that tractor thing. I don't remember what it was called. Prakzor? Uh, whatever. Whatever it was that was in there, that's 9,999 coins. We're not buying that, apparently. Because Beale Beach is toast. And these people are really bad at building nuclear plants. Like, the people of Tandor? Really bad at building nuclear plants. This is the second time that same reactor has blown up. As far as I understand it, I think it's the same reactor. Like, how crappy do you have to be at your job to build a nuclear reactor that blows up once a decade? Let alone building it on the site where it previously was. Again, probably, I, I don't know, but it would make sense. Well, actually, it wouldn't make sense. That's the point. It doesn't make sense. But I've never been told about, like, where the nuclear reactors are, per se. 
Yeah, we have a, a cruise ticket. Let's get off this place. Welcome to Tandor Luxury Cruise. I know you're probably worried about the crisis of the nuclear power plant, but here you can react. Relax. Take a nap in your own personal room. You may explore the boat. Many of the other passengers are Pokemon trainers like you. I'm sure they will be interested in battle. Barry left the harbor. So do we need to go help out the captain and get HM1 cut? Is that what's going to happen? Hello. Hello, dear. I was a trainer once. Ah, oh, what a lovely time that was. But now I'm old and crotchety. And I have no use for this TM. Will you make good use of it? Sure. No, I won't make good use of it at all. I have no use for double team. That's the spirit. Oh, God. It's you. I mean, duh, of course you'd be here. The next gym's this way, isn't it? I beat Callie. It was hard. My Pokemon tried their best. Want a battle or what? OBT, this is dumb. But I'm sore scared. Wait, no! I didn't say I'm never scared. I'm gonna beat the best trainer ever. Still, Dad. Uh, Daddy's strong. He's got strong Pokemon. Your dad's a ranger, right? He'll help everyone. He'd better. I mean, uh, just want a battle. I don't care about what happened to the power plant right now. All I care about is beating you. Have fun with that, Theo. You're not going to be successful at it, but... Th right now, we're in the quest to find our room. <laughs> and we stumbled across Theo. So, that tells you how much I care about this battle right now, Theo. I'm just trying to find my room. I really am. I can't believe Dunsparce is faster than Barrel. Well, was faster than Barrel. And my near-death Dunsparce almost single-handedly took out Barrel. Sad as that. Orkinks! Get him, Orkinks! Fine whip. Yeah, your Barrel's not gonna do much, buddy. Bam. Barrel down. Good job, Orkinks. S'more, yes. Switch out to Fullerog. Dunsparce would have been a good choice too, but Dunsparce is down. And we have an egg. So we need to really make the most use of what our team can do, because we are down a man. That nightshade, though. Still, bubble beam. Bye-bye. Fullerog, you need to level up. Kokoran. Yes. Uh, Palage. Perfect combo right there. Palage versus Kokoran. Easy win. Easy, easy win. Air Cutter, Insta-KO. One shot. Boom. Palage v. Palage. Uh, let's see, you're fire and flying. So Palage be v. Fullerog. Bring Fullerog back out. He's a little tired, but he can handle it. Got Bubble Beam. Sunny Day. Alright. That's not gonna... Oh, Palage surviving the Bubble Beam. Get that Supersonic on there. Whoop. Ekans? You have a... You have an Ekans? Poison v. Poison here. You got s Why'd you do Sunny Day and then put out an Ekans? Like, where is the sense in that? Especially now that it's confused, it'll just commit suicide, basically. Sludge! Not super effective. Wow, it did a lot of damage. Jeez. Critical hit! Okay, I was a little worried there, but that was a crit, so that wasn't so bad. Bubble Beam? No, Sludge actually did more damage. Sunlight faded. Pound it! Boom! Level 26 Polarog right around the corner. Wow, the stat gains! Plus three, a whole bunch of twos and a one. My goodness. That is nice. Especially that special defense of 57. Jeez. 
Yeah, you can send out your pallet, sure. I'll, I still got my Folarog here. Except I just think I did Pound instead. Pound's not terrible. Uh, let's go into Sludge. I'd like to see uh, Poisoning, if possible. <laughs> you can see the power of Pallage right there. Like That was an ineffective attack, and it just about did in Folarog. The second one did. But, I mean, what you gonna do? Okay. Uh, yeah, Pallage. We'll send out Pallage. He doesn't even get to see my other Pokemon. My other Pokemon's just gonna chill. Air Cutter. Oh, I used Quick Attack. Cheap moves. Oh, what? Air Cutter missed? Not fair. You know, I'll whiff Sunny Day. That's why that Flame Burst did so much damage. You know what? I'll take advantage of that. Flame burst on you with your sunny day. Boom! Not very effective, but does massive damage. A thousand experience. Woo! At almost to the full level. Electruxo. He leveled up his Electrux. We have yet to level up our Orkinks, but I'll show him. You don't have to level him up to make him strong. You don't have to evolve him to make him strong. Beach Seed. Last Pokemon. I think. Although now that Electrux Electruxo has Bite, it actually stands a chance. But Vine Whip should do it. Couple Vine Whips, we should be okay. Or we can flinch and not do anything. That's bad. At least we're getting a little bit, of, a lot of bit of health back, actually. Seriously, wow. Ouch. Oh my god, another flinch. Come on, game! Don't do that to me. We're only losing 6 HP a turn. Net. But that bite does a whopping 19. So next turn, we're gonna be a little bit too low. Possibly. We're down to 15. I mean, we got luck like Truxo, so, so I mean, we win, but... If that had gone on for maybe another two turns, Electrux still would have won. That Leech Seed totally saved us there. 2,000 experience! Boom! Level 28! Instantly! Wow! No! It's not fair! 4,000 bucks, so thank you. Orkinks is evolving! Yay! Into what? It, it's a weird looking thing. It's what it is. Oh, that looks badass. Oh, that is cool. It's like half metal, half flowers. <laughs> Congratulations, your Orc Inks evolved into a Metal Inks. Great. I'll take it. This is... This is... Uh, Dad's in trouble. I can't even win a battle, even though I tried my hardest. Just leave me alone. I don't want to talk. Great. The Tandor Luxury Crystal. <laughs> <It are. laughs> the end goal was just beat Theo. That's all you had to do. Just beat Theo. Oh no, what? What? No! Oh, that's so cheap! Oh, come on! I only... I, I got one TM, and I got to fight Theo, and that's it! I didn't get to see my room, I didn't battle any other trailers, trainers, I didn't even go upstairs! Oh, man! That sucks. I'm disappointed. Ah. Well, guys, that's the end of the episode. So, as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time with some more Pokemon Uranium. I'm really bummed right now. We're missing like an like two entire sections of the game are just gone. Ah. Oh. I I like have to play this again just so I can kind of direct myself so I don't miss any content next time.
Man, alright. DFTBA.